Hello. How are you? I've missed you. I'm glad to see you again. I hope you've had a good week. Are you ready to come back to class? I'm ready to see you. I hope you come back soon. But just in case you don't get to come, I wanted to do the story so you don't miss out because this is one of our favorites in class. Do you remember who we've been talking about? Pharaoh, that's right. And who else? Who else have we been talking about? Moses. Right, so we're going to see today if you have been paying attention. Have you been paying attention to the lessons? I hope so. They're very important. Okay, so what do we remember? Do you remember? Who's, Mo who's Moses talking to in this picture? You know, there's a fire, but he's talking to God. God is talking to Moses through the fire, and he told Moses, Go and tell Pharaoh, the Lord God of Israel said, Let my people go. That's right. And Moses went, and he talked to Pharaoh, and he told him, God said, let my people go. But what did Pharaoh say? No. Right? And Moses tried really hard. He tried to tell Pharaoh how important it was to listen to God and how powerful and mighty God was. Remember? He, he showed Pharaoh that God gave him the power to turn his stick into a snake and then Moses gave his stick to his brother Aaron who waved the stick over the Nile River and turned all of the water into blood and Pharaoh did not let the people go and then Moses told Aaron, take the stick and put it in the water. Because Pharaoh wouldn't let the people go. And what came out? Frogs everywhere. Frogs. Right? And Pharaoh finally got tired of those frogs and he said, Moses, Make these frogs go away, and I will let the people go. And Moses made the frogs go away. And once they swept them up into piles, and Pharaoh saw it was all over, did he let the people go? No. He did not let the people go. He lied. We're not supposed to lie, are we? We can get in trouble when we lie. Creates dishonesty and bad things for everybody. We should not be lying. And Moses told Pharaoh, 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 God said, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no. So God sent flies and lice. It's so disgusting. Right? And then Pharaoh said that he would let the people go, but he didn't. So what did God do next? He sent a great illness and it killed all of the cattle. But remember, God separated the Israelite people from the Egyptian people when they had the flies. So the flies were only in Egypt. And when the cattle got sick, 
only Egypt's cattle got sick. The Israelite children's cattle did not get sick either. So God's showing how powerful he is, that he can make these things happen, and he can separate and protect his children, right? But Pharaoh is just not listening. And he needs to learn to obey God, doesn't he? Well, after all of the cattle died, the Lord told Moses and Aaron, you have to go talk to Pharaoh again. He's still not going to listen, but you have to go tell him and show my power. This time, I want you to get some ashes from the furnace. What do you think is gonna, he's going to do with those? Right? The ashes from the furnace, like in the barbecue grill, those kind of ashes are from the fireplace. Mm -hmm. So Moses and Aaron went and talked to Pharaoh, and they said, Pharaoh, 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 are you going to let God's people go so that they can go out in the wilderness and serve me? What do you think Pharaoh said? No. And Moses said, Pharaoh, the Lord God of Israel said, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, no. So Moses and Aaron took the ashes and they sprinkled it towards heaven. And then everybody got boils on their skin. They got owies. Look at his owies all over. He even has them on the top of his head. He has owies. Even Pharaoh has some owies. Owies all over and they hurt. Oh my goodness, they were so painful, those owies. But the Egyptian children didn't get, sorry, the Israelite children didn't get owies, only the Egyptians. And Pharaoh said, so what? My magicians can do the same thing. But his magicians had so many owies on them that they couldn't even stand up. It hurt so bad. I hope Pharaoh learns his lesson this time. Have you ever fell and scratched your knee? Fell when you were running or riding your bike and got a big owie and how bad it hurts? Well, these people had owies all over them. Do you think that's going to teach them to obey God now? I hope so, because that's really bad to have owies all over your body. I hope Pharaoh lets the people go. We'll have to find out next week, though. I hope I see you then, and you can let's find out together what happens next week. Maybe Pharaoh's going to let the people go. I hope so, because they want to go to church. All right. I love you guys. We'll talk to you later.